today's episode, we will review our trip to Carolina Adventure World in South Carolina. Now, we drove directly from Maryland and parts north through the night, and when we got there early, we had a bit of fog and a little bit of cloudiness. We got there early, and we were determined to enjoy and see everything there is to see. It is difficult not to compare to places larger than this, like Durham Town, which we experienced the following day. So Carolina Adventure World being open, it is one of the remaining choices in that area, and I know there's more out there that people will tell us about, but these tracks were really road rally feeling. They were nice and open, they were manicured, they seemed to be taken pretty good care of signage was important to us and it was also labeled very well. We didn't run into any obstacles or rocks on the trails. Being from Pennsylvania and New Jersey, we are used to having more obstacles. We had the full crew out. It consisted of a variety of machines. Myself and the Hunt Talon. We had Paul in his Can-Am. We had Shane in his Can-Am X3. And we had Gary we also had Frank with us, Josh and Ian in the Polaris General. Just going around and racing through, we had an awesome time. The trails were a good mix of long flat straightaways and the winding turns that everyone loves to enjoy through the woods. Of course, you can't have a place like this without some mud. Of course, the team found some mud, and everybody took their turn in getting stuck and getting winched out, but just to have fun. You know, why, why not go out and get a little dirty? That's why you have these machines. Everybody had a good time. No matter where you go, you can be in the mud pit, you can also be in the bog, and there are also some race tracks as well that are not currently open, but they're working on them. So what do you what do you like about Carolina Adventure World so far? So far, Cal Carolina Adventure World, the curvy trails up and down the mountains, we get a little bit of mud, we get a little bit of obstacles, we get some rocks, it's a fun place. Awesome. Oh, and then we did the mud pit. Yes, we all like the mud pit. Yeah, awesome, awesome. Place. Definitely worth the ride. see them but we have other video and they really give some good coverage of keeping the uh, the mud out of the cabin it shoots it up all over the place but working well yeah ready all right ready for tow tow job we are going to use the tow rope for Frank unfortunately unfortunately I'm just it's not the tow it's not the tow rope of shame <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> no, I was bringing it over here. So tell me, what do you think about Carolina Adventure World? I love it here. It's, I'm going to come back for sure. And what do you like about it? Uh, just the high speed trails. And the, the sound of Shane's fan, that's what we like. Sorry. The lack, lack of major rocks that Pennsylvania always has. Yeah, good high speed, manicured uh, trails. Yep. It's awesome. So we will be back to Carolina Adventure World. There's always plenty of water to find. They've got a riverbed that goes through part of the property. The 
There's a good amount of trails. With 2,600 acres and 100 miles of intersecting trails, it could keep you busy for the day and then a little bit more. There was a track there, an oval and a regular track, which were not open. I think the oval track was open. The bog was open. Uh, we saw Top of the World. And from what I understand, there's cabins on site and nearby. And there's also camper hookups. So you should have everything that you could possibly need if you're going to visit here for a day or two. Now, check the website when we were uh, doing the review and the video. They were changing their website up a bit, but nonetheless, it was still a lot of fun. The entire team had a great time, and they would go back. We hope to visit more of these locations, these riding areas that have amenities, play a cabin that you can stay at, or a pro shop, or a repair shop rinse off station and a lot of these are excellent draws to bring people back now it is quite a drive for us and only one of the tracks were open the drag strip was not, was not open we still would like to go back and give it another review so tell us have you been there and we would love to hear your comments about it so thanks again and we hope to see you out there on the trail Always put it in park before you get out of the vehicle. It was just sitting there. I like it here. <laughs> just have to learn that in front of my camera. I love all the twisty turning up the hill. Can you keep your camera on so you can see it? It's a good ride. We're doing an interview here. It's a good ride here. Step in.